Hello everyone, I'm ExtraGZ87, and this is the Let's Play Valkyrie Chronicles Part 4. Last time we finished Chapter 2, and then did a tutorial for like 25 minutes, and then the game crashed, and so I had to redo that tutorial bullshit. Uh, <clears throat> so there's going to be like slight differences in who our squad people are. Uh, doesn't really matter, but I just kind of picked slightly different people, I think. Uh, so let's keep on moving. And hope the game doesn't crash again. Thankfully, I had saved after the end of the combat encounter in the last chapter, so I just had to watch cutscenes and skip through the tutorial stuff. There you are. I've been looking for you. I tweaked the audio a little bit, so hopefully the it'll be a little bit better. The the thing is, there's no voice. Uh, acting setting in the audio. You can only turn down music and background noise. Or, you know, sound effects. Hey, so. How'd your enlistment go? No problems? I registered as a tank pilot and mechanic. Maintaining and operating the Edelweiss will be my responsibility from now on. I think it's nice that we'll all be on the same squad together. Yeah, that would never happen. I think so, too. So, what are you up to now? The tank's hangar space is just through here. I was just carrying some Ragnite fuel back. It's used to power the tank, and also for the turret-mounted cannon rounds. I guess I'm just more used to seeing it in street lamps and medical compounds. Seems like everything is Ragnite-powered these days. That stuff is everywhere. The Japanese love their magic rocks, man. Not enough of it for some people, though. It's the source of a lot of conflict. They say the Empire's invading only to get at all the Ragnite in Gallian soil. Oh, that's right. I had something to give you, Welks. What's this? Father's flare gun. It was in the barn, but I thought you might have some use for it. Another hand-me-down. I gave it a once-over. It might be old, but it's still serviceable. I didn't mean... I just can't believe I'm a tank operator now. Thank you for this, Ys. I'll do a spot check on the Edelweiss now, to make sure it's ready to go at any time. Alright, we'll get going for now then. See you later. Okay. So, we're gonna keep on... trucking. Uh, I wanna check something real quick though. Uh, we are recording. Good. And I don't know how many more. This might be the last video I record today. My voice is getting a little... I can kind of feel it a little bit. Recorded a good bit today, so... I'll cut to the chase. Here's your mission. You know, cut to the chase. Cut with that sharp-ass chin you got. The Great Vassal Bridge was just taken by the Empire. It's a key strategic position. The Great Vassal Bridge? It's a major drawbridge crossing the canal in Vassal, just outside the capital. That bridge is a part of the central transit artery, leading into Randgrees. Our mission is to take it back. Now I'm like real paranoid every time I see that loading screen that it's gonna crash. Oh man. Our third regiment will retake the bridge before defensive reinforcements can arrive. I don't remember the game crashing too much in my first playthrough. It did crash at that exact same spot the first time I played this game, where like right after you get out of that tutorial and you're going back to the, the book mode where it crashed. But hopefully that won't happen again. How quaint. The militia holding a little strategy meeting of its own. Oh my god, look at this fucker. How long were you planning on hiding out in here, Verat? Oh, this is... Is this, uh, M Miguelo from Final Fantasy XII? Is that who this voice actor is? It's like the my exact same voice. Sir. We'll depart soon. Whatever. They're just country mice. It's not like they'll be much help. More help, perhaps, than your army unit that couldn't hold the bridge in the first place. Got him! Hey! Regardless, 
Vassal remains a critical position. We'll reclaim it immediately. Well, all good. See that you do. Who was that? General Damon, commander of the Central Forces. Central Forces? That's the army branch the militia was folded into, right? That's right. They say the general's an aristocrat. He looks down on the common militia. That doesn't make any sense. Of course it does. Right. Now that the war's begun, we all need to band together and fight to keep Galia safe. Nah, commoners are poor and dirty. Who cares at this point whether you're in the army or the militia? It's ridiculous. Gentlemen, let's return to the mission. We'll begin by taking back the Western Bank to gain a foothold for reclaiming the bridge. Lieutenant Gunther, I'm assigning Squad 7 to this mission. It's your first maneuver, so be smart. Yes, Captain. The other squads are on patrol. Stay sharp and be ready to help take back the bridge. I'm counting on all of you out there. Now move out. And here we go. Oh, skirmishes are how you do off-screen grinding. Uh, they're like little free battles you can do to get experience and money. It's not... Grinding isn't really a... It doesn't really do that much in this game. I might do a little bit off-screen just if like, I ever get the itch to play the game and I can't record. But for the most part, we won't be using that. Well, we won't be using it at all on-screen, but I might do a couple off-screen. Like I said, mainly just to as a situation of where I want to play the game, but I can't, you know, record. Here are details on the current operation. The Imperial Force is deployed in an offensive position around a camp within Vassal's urban center. You will assign your squad position to split between a city team and a riverside team. So like classic fire emblem stuff right here with split squads. So we're going to ha want to have more of our, like, offensively oriented troops on the left side, our scouts more on the right side. This is the first mission where we can actually assign people in positions and things like that. Because it's our first mission to also have more than just scouts. Yeah, and it's basically just saying what I just said. Put your scouts on your, on your far side and your, uh... Let's see position units, so we're gonna we're gonna put let's see so there's Largo's already there, so we'll put one more tanky tankerson. Put you there, we'll put Vice uh put you and then we'll put a, a snipery sniper over here. We'll use uh Oscar for sure. And then over here, you've already got uh, Rosie and Alicia. I guess we'll get an engineer, maybe. Uh, sure, we'll use Carl. Carl! That's a meme, right? And, well, let's save, I guess. No, let's just deploy the bucket. We're Go for it. To commence the operation. I look forward to good news from you. Split into two teams, offensive and defensive. Squad 7, move out! So I vaguely remember how this mission works. It's been a little bit. All right, it's our... I'll lead the Riverside team towards the enemy encampment with the Edelweiss. Shock Trooper here. Lead the offense to me. Okay, one second. City I gotta team, respond to this text. Your job is to guard the base. Be ready for anything, including tanks. Okay. Yeah. So we're supposed to do think stuff. I've been an anti-tank man. A couple of tanks ain't no. Sw That's a spirit, Largo. Now let's move out. We might. We probably didn't actually need two tank guys, but you know. Listen closely. This information could save your life. You can occupy camps. They reduce the enemies. Uh, just uh, does it actually? I can't remember if it reduces their CP. I may be uh, forgetting that, but 
Occupying camps is important. Basically, that's what that says. So we have a lot of points for the first time. This is our first semi-long mission. It's not, like, super long. Uh, I think we'll start with... We'll start with the tank. Just, uh... The tank controls are a little wonky. See, we should just be able to crush these, like, that, run over them, uh, let's see, just, eh, I can't quite reach, let's try this guy, eh, <laughs> eh, oh, come on, okay, well, it doesn't really matter, we'll just have, like, Alicia or Rosie kill them. They're just scouts, so they can't really do too much. I mean, she, like, doesn't take any damage whatsoever. Eh. The, the, the aiming's a little awkward. Uh, just... Okay, just end there. Let's see. Send Alicia up to finish this guy off. Just go for the... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fucking serpentine boys. Go for the headshots. Who are these guys? So let's see, what's all up here? There's a shock trooper, yeah, okay. I don't wanna go and too far forward. For oh shit. I thought I was gonna be able to get back into that grass. Oh well. If he runs up, he should get killed by the tank reaction fire anyway. Uh, I'm just going to leave the engineer back there for now. He's not really that needed. So that's a shock trooper. There's an actual line of... I wonder if I can snipe this guy. Uh, oh. I didn't mean to select him. But... Oh. You dunked on nerd. I did it. So there, he can guard there. I think we could just want to snipe this, uh... I can't tell if he's in... It looks like he's probably in cover. Uh... We'll check, now. though. Oh, no, he's not in cover. Well... Okay. Just hope it hits. There we go. Like I said, snipers are my favorite class. They're so overpowered. Can you crouch here? I don't think so. No. Just end your turn. Can't, though, we, don't, we don't know where the tanks are yet, unfortunately. For you, sure. I wonder if he can make it there. There's probably someone right here. I thought maybe there would be someone hiding. Ooh, here's one. Okay. Ooh, he's kind of out of the way. He. Hmm. Hit, please. Yeah, well, we destroyed his treads at the very least. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So that's just a scout. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do here. I could use the Adel, but the thing is, that the problem with using tanks multiple times is that they have such low, like, they already can't move very far to begin with. And as you can see, your AP points are reduced by a third every time you uh, reuse someone. I think I'll just send Largo up and get him in position. Try to stay out of the range. Uh, a game? I hit that like eight times. I hit. There we go. Now instantly in the turn. He took a little too much damage. I hope that doesn't screw me over. Leave it all to me. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, I've seen your turn there. That's just a scout anyway, so. I think I could have done that a lot better, but, you know. Uh, dude? Wow. <laughs> nice reaction fire there. I mean, he should still die here, but. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, Mom. 
voice is kind of getting a little... Uh, I recorded a good bit today, and I'm still only in, like, my second week of returning to recording, so... Uh, okay, that could have been really bad. Of course he lives with 1 HP, oh my god, that's so annoying. Okay, the tank took him out. That's what I thought would happen the first time. But... And that's just what I'm saying earlier, is that killing leader units uh, reduces total CP. And that also applies to us, like it said. Alicia is an example of a leader unit. I think also Largo and Rosier leader units. Oh, I forgot about this guy. I thought I remember there being someone in the grass, but... Here I come. Okay. okay, I was going to be so mad if he lived with 1 HP. Orders are the thing we already explained in the tutorial. I don't know why they're re-explaining them. I guess it's just telling you how to use them. We don't have any good orders right now, so I'm not even going to bother looking at them. So, there's a tank here. Hmm. I'm on my way now. I think I'll send, uh, what's his name, Alex, here. Enemy spotted. Take this. And then we want to instantly end our turn. I did it. Man down. Everybody, be careful. I think we're just going to. Because you know, generally what you want to do is you want to try and get your tanker, your tankers, your lancers behind the tanks and hit their, you know, glowing blue fuck me light. You? Sure. But I don't know why I got out of, uh, Die for me, I wanted to have a better, uh, crouch, crouch, in turn, crouch. Oh boy, that was not good. Been waiting here. Oh my god, it takes so long. I don't know why I even came out of cover. I just wanted to ensure that I get the kit, that I have a kill shot. Because the Lancers are pretty inaccurate to start with. Because shit like that happens. Oh my god, I'm so triggered. Now I don't know what to do. Hmm. Because I think if I select him again and instantly try and fire, he won't die. I've been through worse. Ah, damn it. <laughs> uh, that wasn't good. Basically, there's somewhat permadeath. Not really. Uh, it's very... If you don't revive a unit, they will die. But it's very easy to revive units. I don't think I've ever actually had a character completely die. So... Oh god, I feel like we're about to start rolling back down. So this isn't the best display of... Oh my god, we're actually... We can't do it! Ugh. Come on. Come on. Like I said, the tank controls are... Not the best. I wonder if we could go for that. I mean, there's no reason not to. It's probably just gonna hit like an invisible wall. Okay. I don't think it would have gone through anyway. So yeah, now we're in a an awkward spot. Hmm. He's in cover. Leave it all to me. So I think all we have to do to is just kind of run up and. Medic. I probably should have guess I put an engineer with these guys. Just a maybe. little longer, almost there. You've got to help, please. So yeah. Oh, no, these guys do have heals. I couldn't remember. I thought they didn't. See, so, yeah, that's not gonna reach. Oh well, just just end your turn. End your turn, please. I'm so annoyed the tank didn't die. Honestly, it's gonna take too long for Carl to catch up, and we're not really in that much danger of the tank dying. The Edelweiss is pretty hard to kill. My turn, okay? Let's 
Let's see. Take cover behind sandbags when possible. Hmm. Probably just want to kind of stay back here. Pull it together. Of the alleys. It could be. Because, I mean, yeah, I could go for those sandbags and hide behind them, but I'd be putting myself in a lot of danger. So. And it's not like Alicia can really do anything. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, I didn't do very much damage at the very least, because he's. Uh, anti -expl Oh, I did not even see that guy up there. Okay, I did not know that dude was up there. I wonder if he's uh, far enough away now to be out of reaction fire range. Probably not. Oh yeah, Lancers only have a certain amount of shots before they have to go back to camp and get more ammo. Or I think Engineers can also refill ammo. Yeah, Engineers can re restock people. I guess we'll just combat. use the Edelweiss here again. Kinda. Enemy sighted. What is that create thing? some some active camo. Or active uh We can't allow them to reclaim their camp. Hmm. Honestly, I mean it's gonna take three shots to kill them up front, so I think we just uh Try and kill the shock trooper who's out of cover. So that's just a scout, and that's an engineer. I'll do my best. Does Oscar have? He has Ragnade. Okay, I gotta get my bearings straight. I don't think he's gonna be able to get there though. Don't get pinned down. Fire back. He is not. Send Alicia up, kill the scout. As you can see, I mean, scouts get pretty, like, good late game because they just get so accurate. Oh gosh, that did. I didn't think I was going to get hit by the tank there. So now I have to think. Because I'm worried about like the same thing's gonna happen where like I try and select this guy and he gets killed by reaction fire before he can get a shot off. For you, sure. I'm going to attempt it though. Please don't hit the dude right in front of you. Die for me, sweetie. Okay, there. Now instantly end your turn. Sorry, honey. Man down. Everybody, be careful. Then we just leave it to pick. me. Old Alex, kill this guy, hopefully. Only takes four shots. So despite dying like an idiot on Largo, which, like I said, it doesn't... There's technically permadeath, but in practice, there isn't. I'll take care of it. So you can he... Yeah, he can kill. I thought that dude was a shock trooper for some reason, but... Then I'll probably just use Oscar now. to heal this guy. Uh, how do I heal again? So I guess it is a good thing I put two lancers here after all. Mm, that feels great. It's just beyond the next. He should be out of range of anyone who's gonna try and attack him. If the shock trooper rushes us. Our two others will take him out. I mean, they barely have any command points now. Like, I mean, that that's it. They're out of their turns over. Oh, man. If we gotten, like, one more headshot, we would have killed him. Probably just going to use the tank. We're out of range of the reaction power from the tank. Let's see. Just leave it to me. Whoop. Chuck a grenade at him. I think that'll hit, hopefully. And I mean it'll hit, but hope it'll kill. Oh my god, he lived two HP. 
I'm just like triggered right now. Where's the tank? Combat. Okay. Fire. Yes, we can one shot the tank now with the Edelweiss. My turn, okay? I hope I don't. I shouldn't be too liberal with my moves, because I mean I want to obviously end this uh, mission on this turn. We have four more though, so we should be. Uh, Leave it all to me. Let's see if I can kind of like line them up. And yeah, so we get we okay. I was trying to see if I could like line them up in a way that we are after we killed that guy, our shots would continue to hit. It almost worked. I'm on my way now. I don't know why it like stopped us like that. Okay, and we're done, right? Or do we have to actually walk up and capture the thing? Yeah, we do. Occupy, we're done. That was sloppy as hell, but we finished. Operation complete. We. Oh boy, a C. Yeah, I definitely deserve a C there. Honestly, I probably deserve a D. I mean, getting someone killed on chapter three is kind of embarrassing, but. Oh, save. 100% want to save. Since now that, you know, crashing and stuff. Hey there! You guys aren't with Squad 7 by any chance, are you? Yes, that's us. <laughs> Bingo! I've been looking for you. Meaning you, hot stuff, on the tank. Me? Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me, I... That must make you Lieutenant Gunther, am I right? Um, yeah. Yes, that's me. Oh, daisy What? Hey, you can't... Ah, nice to meet you, too. Now, let's get right to the questions. So, you're the son of the great General Gunther, huh? You look awfully young. How old are you anyway? <laughs> Must be your first war, huh? What's been the uh, hardest experience so far? Um, Wait, happiest. I, no, oh, uh, funniest. I'd also like to know hobbies, favorite whoa. foods, uh, what you do on your days hey, off. lady! I'm getting secondhand anxiety this from this. <laughs> Excuse me, but what are you doing here anyway? Ah, uh, people. Hey, give me a break, will ya? Scoops are near danger, and I'm near Scoops. That's right. The name's Ellet. I'm GBS Radio's top woman reporter. I smell a story. A good story. And you guys are it. So, you... Uh, you're a reporter? Very good. I'm a reporter, yes. I've been assigned to Squad 7 to conduct a series of interviews. Thank you. Now, let's get back to those questions, shall we? Ugh. So now we get introduced to Rosie and Largo reels ah uh, now he's giving interviews who does he think he is ooh look at him son of some big hero please he's still a schoolboy no kidding one little win and he's the new grand duke ah oh, i hate kids <laughs> i can't agree with that statement Ah, uh, whatever. He'll learn soon enough. Only one thing matters out there in the field, and that's experience. Chapter 4. Operation Cloudvert. Oh, gosh. There's so many things. Ah. Uh, three tabs. Uh, basically, that's just, like, superficial information about things and, like, lore and stuff, I guess. Oh my god, game, you're scaring me. Save again. I don't know why it does that, where it says our playtime is zero hours. It's odd. This game's a little... The port's a little wonky. Uh, I want to check and see how much time we're at. Uh, 
we're at 30 minutes. I think we'll go ahead and end this episode off here, guys. Uh, next time, we'll do Operation Cloudburst, Chapter 4. And, yeah, I'm x 87 and this has been Let's Play Valkyrie Chronicles. Stay tuned for the next episode. Bye, guys.